Have you ever noticed how hard it is to run a sale or special offer in WooCommerce? I mean, don't get me wrong, WooCommerce is awesome, but some features are just blatantly missing. There's honestly no decent way to add discounts or dynamic marketing offers. It's actually kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Like, just take a look at the product screen here in WooCommerce. If I just wanna edit a product and add a discount, I can do that by scrolling down to this edit product screen here, and I can add a sale price like this. I can also schedule it if I want to, but imagine doing this for every single one of your products. So what about bulk editing then? Maybe that's an option. Well, this does exist. You can bulk edit products and create discounts, but this is also very limited and still tedious. And most frustrating, this option doesn't even include the scheduling feature. So you're really back at square one. It also only lets you set basic price discounts, and you can't set up anything like buy one, get one free or quantity-based pricing. So I bet you can guess where I'm going with this. Here at Barn2, we've developed an awesome plugin called WooCommerce Discount Manager, and I believe you're really gonna like it. In a moment, I'll show you how to use it, but first, let's quickly take a look at what it's capable of. When it comes to dynamic pricing, this plugin really does it all. There are six types of discounts you can create, including free giveaway offers and bulk discounts. More on these in a bit. You can set store-wide discounts, or limit offers to categories, and of course, single products. You can also limit a discount to selected users or roles. This is great for wholesale stores. You can set up the start and end dates on these offers ahead of time, which makes events like Black Friday and Christmas a breeze. And you can create sale banners and badges to be displayed on your product pages for promotional purposes. There's actually tons more I haven't even mentioned yet, so let's jump in and take a look at the plugin in action. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can purchase a copy from our website. The link is below. And as always, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. After purchasing your copy, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to Plugins, Add New, and upload the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Click Install, and then Activate. You'll need to enter your license key, which you can do in the setup wizard. Or you can go to Marketing, Discounts, and click on Settings to make sure that your license key has been entered and is activated. Then click on Discounts to get started with the next step. Now that's all set up, it's time to create our very first discount. You can click on this big button here to create your first discount, or you can always add a new one with the button up here in the top left. You'll be presented with all of the discount types, so let's begin with a simple discount. You can see some examples over here on the right. For example, 10% off everything, or $5 off all t-shirts. Click Create, and give your discount a name. Next, you'll choose which products this will be applied to. If you leave it on all products, it'll be a store-wide sale, or you can choose selected products or categories. I'm going to select the cap as our example product. Some of these steps will be the same for all discount types, and some will vary based on your selection. For simple discounts, you just choose the offer type between percentage or a fixed dollar amount. You enter a value such as $5, then toggle the sale badge on or off, and this will look different depending on what sort of theme you're running. Then for every discount type, you'll have the following settings. You can choose who this sale applies to, whether it's gonna be everyone or just selected roles, such as subscriber or wholesale, or selected users, so that would be specific people within your website. For most sales, you'll probably apply it for everyone. Then you'll choose the availability. If you choose always available, then the sale will never end. So I'd always re recommend selecting specific dates. Select a start date and an end date for this feature to work. We'll select today as our start date, and that way it'll work straight away when we go to test it out. You can also add more content such as custom images, text, or whatever else you need in this product page content box here. So you have the typical WordPress editor where you can add text, images, and so on. And then you can choose a location between all of these six different options for that content to be placed. 
and optionally you can add a notice that will appear above the cart when the discount is applied. Then click save and don't forget to test out your new offer. And now when I go to the product page, you can see that it has a sale badge. This is determined by your theme and you can see the reduction in price here. So when I add it to my basket, then I can view the basket and I can see that the price has been reduced. So for two items, it's $26 instead of $36. Well, that's simple discounts, but let's take a look at the more interesting offer types that this plugin has. Go back to the simple discount and you can click on edit. And from the drop down here, you can select a different discount type. So let's start with based on total spend. This is where you can set up those sort of offers like save 20% when you spend $100 or more. Again, you're going to select products. It could be store wide in this case, or just stick to one product if you want to. And you're going to set the total spend, for example, $100. And we're going to set a percentage discount for this one, say, for example, 20%. And again, we have all the same settings as before. So we can scroll right down to the bottom. We can change the cart notice if we need to and click save. Now this time, if I add a whole bunch of caps and click, maybe this is enough, add to basket. Now let's view the basket and we have some savings applied. So the price has been adjusted to 1440 per item and that's giving us the correct subtotal based on this price instead of the original price. Next up is the free products option, which can be used to create the buy one, get one free offers or buy two, get one free. You get what I mean. Everything is the same as before, but here we can specify the number of paid items required to get a free item. You could also give away more than one free item, but I would do so quite cautiously. So here with one and one, it's a buy one, get one free offer or buy two, get one free and so on. And then here you can select if it's like for like products only. So for example, only uh, with the cap. However, if you add a few other items like this belt or this beanie, then if you enable this option here, any product, then so long as they are buying two of any of these products, then they'll get a third one for free and it'll default to the cheapest product. Now let's look at the buy X for a fixed price option. This is where you have like buy three for $50 or something along those lines. You can pick any products you like. And if the customer adds the specified amount of that product to their basket, it'll automatically apply the sale price. This can stack too. So in my example, if the customer bought six items, they would get it for $100 and nine items would be 150 and so on. Similarly, the buy X for Y discount option requires a certain number of that product to be added to the cart before the discount is applied. Use this for deals such as save 25% when buying three items or more. So here we can set the quantity of items required for the discount to be applied. Then we can set a percentage or fixed discount as before. And you can set it for all products or you can set the logic so that the additional products are the ones that get the discount. So I could set, for example, two items here and the third item would have a discount applied in this case. This is a better discount type to apply store-wide, whereas the previous one is better for individual products. And finally, the bulk pricing option is great for wholesale stores. You can set up discounts like 50% off when buying five or more items. First, you can decide if you're going to apply this sort of discount to individual products, like buy five of this product for the discount to be applied, or you can just set it to any products in the store and then five of anything could be added to the cart. Again, choose the type of offer for the range. It'll either be a percentage or a priced based range. And then to set up the discount, you just need to click add tier. You can set the minimum quantity, for example, five, and you can set a maximum quantity if you want to add more tiers. But if you leave this one blank, then there'll be no maximum quantity and the discount will be applied for any number higher than what's there. So let's set this up, say for example, $20, $20 off, or I can set it to percent. And this one could be 30% off. And the last step is to choose if you want this pricing table to be displayed on product pages. 
As always, detailed documentation about the plugin can be found on our knowledge base, which I've linked below the video. We've worked really hard on this plugin behind the scenes, and we're so thrilled to be sharing it with you. It comes with a full 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out on your site risk-free. And as a customer of Barn2, you'll always have access to our top-notch support team. So use this link here to view the demo and try it out for yourself. We hope you enjoy it. And as always, thanks for watching.